Will Rainbow Six Siege make it five more years? Or in other words, will Siege make it to its 10th birthday and still receive the same support from Ubisoft? Very few games actually make it to the 10 year milestone. So will Siege go down in history as a game that was able to withstand the test of time? I think the answer to the question is maybe and it really all depends on a few things in these upcoming years that will either decide if siege thrives or dies hey everybody jeff here and in today's video we're going to see if rainbow six siege can actually make it for five more years what strategies ubisoft and siege are going to have to do to keep the players interested and invested in the game and to make the game profitable at the same time as well so yeah, at any point during this video if you feel even somewhat entertained hit that subscribe button for me also right now it is 2 a.m and i woke up really early this morning to go to my paramedic job so yeah i'm a little tired but we're gonna keep the vibe going and we're gonna make this a really great video so right off the bat i'm gonna say the number one thing that that'll keep this game going is if we still get continued support and content throughout the years to come. If Rainbow Six Siege right now was to stop making content, the number of players wouldn't dwindle too much, but eventually down the road, once the game gets a little stale, people keep playing on the same apps over and over again, the same operators without any variance at all, people are gonna start leaving. But even if we're receiving content regularly like we are right now, that's still not going to be enough to keep people interested for let's say two years, four, maybe five years from now. So we're gonna discuss more things here in this video as well coming up the next really big thing that siege has to master is the art of balance and how they're going to keep on balancing out all these operators and even the new ones keep on getting added throughout the years as well ubisoft has stated time and time again that their ultimate goal is to reach 100 operators here in siege currently right now we're at 54 so that's right we're a little bit above halfway of ubisoft's ultimate goal and you got to keep in mind that the game came out with vanilla operators or original operators too so we still have a long ways to go if we want to hit that 100 operator number that ubisoft strives for and i don't know if you guys have seen the roadmap for the upcoming content that ubisoft plans are releasing for the like upcoming seasons or even i think goes up to the next two years but they start to dwindle down the numbers of operators per season to one from two so it's even going to take a longer time now to hit that magical 100 number the game must 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 find a way to stay balanced throughout its life cycle because we cannot have another ella when she first came out running around rampant again for you new guys when ella first came out she was just unbelievably brokenly overpowered it was just you would see ella every single round and she just dominated every single round we cannot have stuff happen like that again also on the contrary we cannot keep on getting these new operators suck almost every single season the new operators suck they honestly do and it takes so long for them to finally find their place in the meta or they might never find their place in the meta but i do understand where they're coming from i would rather have an operator come out not so strong see where the weak points are and then buff them from there rather than having a brokenly overpowered operator come in dominate the meta for a couple weeks or months until ubisoft gets around to nerfing that operator and totally ruin the fun for everybody balance is really going to play a big issue especially with each passing year people are going to be quicker to be fed up of the game and might just turn the game off for the very last time and we don't want that so with new games coming out all the time siege has to find a way to keep its players invested for the long haul speaking of new games let's jump into our next topic with the ever-growing list of competing games in the vast market of the gaming industry where every developing team and studio and game is trying to do their best to get as many players playing their game as possible and invested for as long as they can ubisoft is going to have to find new and creative ways ways to deal with these competitors. Ubisoft needs to realize what the community wants, especially if what the community wants can be found in another game. A perfect example of what I just said is the new practice ground or firing range, whatever it's called in Valorant, but I don't know if you guys have played Valorant yet, but have a really flushed out and actually a really intuitive practice area, like a firing range or practice grounds or whatever it's called, where you can practice your aim, your recoil management, your mechanics, all in a really well polished game mode. Actually really good, like you could change your settings on the fly so easily, adjust to what you want and it's actually pretty nice now here at rainbow six siege five years into the game's life cycle all we still have are these stupid situations that people play for what 10 minutes for the first time they ever play rainbow six siege or good old terrace hunt five years and all we have are situations and terrace hunt that's kind of embarrassing. I don't know about you guys, but how long has a community been asking for like exactly what Valorant's putting out? So a good example, if you could find features that the community has been asking for for so long in a different game that can easily compete with Rainbow Six Siege, say that player's frustrated with other things as well, that might just be enough to take that player off of Siege 
and onto a game like Valorant or any of the competing game as well. But I honestly would be a much happier player if they would just take exactly what Valorant did and just stick it on their game. Because I don't know about you guys, I'm getting sick of dying to C4s on Terrazon. I swear I died to C4s and somehow breaching charges all the time. Now, I'm actually glad that there are starting to be a good number of competitors to Siege. As everybody knows in business, when you have competition, that makes that company have to strive to be as good or better than the competition to keep the same customers or players engaged. That happens with every business. And the last subject that I want to go over, lastly, I think ultimately the deciding factor that will keep Siege going for a number of years to come all boils down to if Ubisoft can still make a profit off of the game. At the end of the day, Ubisoft is a company and it needs to operate as one as well. They have a ton of investors that they need to keep happy. And if the investors don't see as many dollar signs coming in as what it used to be, they'd be likely to pull out. So Ubisoft would just have to cut the project entirely. So with all this in mind, if Ubisoft really does want Rainbow Six Siege to go down in history as a legendary competitive first person shooter with an amazing pro league, tons of content creators and a true Truly awesome huge fan base they need to listen to the community and innovate where needed now you can't get too crazy with the ideas because you still want the game to feel like siege and I know a lot of people are saying that the game is getting pretty futuristic with all these new updates but I gotta hand it to Ubisoft team man like I would not be able to come up with half the operators that they came up with so I mean I'm sure ideas are running a little low and especially since we're only at 54 out of 100 like I think the inevitably the game's going to get more sci-fi throughout the years so i think the best thing we can all do is just accept it that it's not going to be the modern realistic shooter that everyone kind of thought the game was at first it's going to be a little more sci-fi we're just going to have to get used to it if we want this game to truly thrive in the future but you also have to keep it at its roots too you don't want it to veer off the original product because then people are going to get turned off from it but at the same time you can't be too passive or too scared to not try and innovate because that's truly what's going to need to be done is innovation new game modes new mechanics new ways to play the game Otherwise, honestly, people are going to get bored of it eventually. So there's got to be a really good balance on staying at its roots and innovation at the same time. Now, I absolutely love this game. I probably have more hours on Rainbow Six Siege than I do in any other game of my lifetime. Maybe besides the original Star Wars Battlefront 2. Like, I swear that game was my childhood. But I would honestly love to see Siege turn 10 years old. Like, I love this game. I want it to do well. I just really hope we can make it there. Ultimately, it's all up to Ubisoft and the developers how this game does. Well, that's all I got for you. Let me know if you guys like the video. How long would you guys play the game for if, like, say today, no more content was ever going to be released? How long do you think you would last playing Rainbow Six Siege? And do you think Rainbow Six Siege will make it to five more years? You can let me know by leaving a comment down below make sure to follow me on all my platforms insta twitch tiktok join the discord server link in description now if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new now with all that being said jeppy out so will siege go down to history hey